went and said, this is super awkward, I never want to talk about this ever again, but like someone said this to me, please do something about it, let's never discuss this ever again. Minimum, do that. And then lastly, just because you reported the photo, just because you checked in on that person, does not mean that you get to go back to class and tell everybody like, oh my god, you would never believe what just happened. Many, many, many people who harassed Gortea have never actually seen the photo. But the fact that the photo existed gave them enough ammunition to go to school every day and call her a whore. So you don't get to be like, well, I reported it, so I can do whatever the hell I want now. No, you don't. And lastly, be the adorable turtle. Be the adorable turtle. So this is actually like a two minute long video that like makes me cry every time where this turtle's stuck and then he, like all of his little friends come and help him. It is the cutest thing. If after this you need a like palate cleanser because you feel like dark and heavy, watch the turtle save the other turtle in the zoo. All of the feels, okay? But like be the turtle. <laughs> if you think that people who send naked pictures of themselves are sluts, if you think that girls who go to parties and drink too much and have bad things happen to them are sluts, I don't, that's not okay, and that doesn't give you the right to say, I would never do that, so I get to judge her for what she did. <clears throat> Even if you would never send a naked picture of yourself, that doesn't give you the right to ruin someone else's life because they made different choices than your own. And the people who, it's not police, like I'm driving this home, it's not the cops who are hearing about this, it's not even teachers that are hearing about it, it's your friends that are going to hear about this. And in that moment, you have a choice of like, do you want to be that person who will forever have it on their conscience that just for kicks, back when they were 16, they like brutally harassed another person? Or do you want to be the person that like, yeah, for a couple of days people were pissed at me because I snitched on somebody, but like I get to go to bed at night feeling like I did my part. Like, you just, I can't make that decision for you. Glenn can't make that decision for you. That is up to you and to whether or not you believe that like women have value and humiliating them is just not worth put, putting them through it. Be the adorable turtle. And to remind you that this is a conversation you want to keep happening. This is bystander intervention. We're calling out the behavior. We're supporting the folks being targeted. And we're calling it for what it is. And the poster that I posted up, you can download it for free off our website. You can download it. We have over 30 different scenarios talking about different things. So this is a conversation that you want to keep going when you go home. You want to post it on social media. Or you want to talk about it with your younger siblings. There's tons of ways to do that. Um, and folks from your school are now going to give you sort of the info on what to do next, but to drive home that if you're feeling gross or you're just fired up and you're just like, I want to do something about this at my school, please connect with me and that afterwards and we can help you sort of talk about what that would look like at your school. But I want to thank you hugely, Glenn and I do this a lot, and not everybody is as respectful as you folks have been, and it makes it even harder, because um, I know it's heavy and we've been sitting for a long time and we feel like hot garbage right now, but I'm here to tell you. Um, that I'm appreciative, and I know Glenn is as well. Um, and so thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for being so special. Okay, folks, just a, a couple of bits of information here before we uh, dismiss you. Um, th this